Lady Emily's tower is positioned high on the cliff at 560 feet and can be seen from quite a distance from the east and from Candelus from the west. It is located near to Kevinur Ogoff, Grey Castle, Abigeli in North Wales. Lord Hesketh Bamford Hesketh married Lady Emily Esther Ann Ligon in 1825. Lady Emily's tower designed by Lord Hesketh Bamford Hesketh for his wife Lady Emily and their children. Plans were drawn up and it was built around 1840. The tower was built as a centrepiece to the designed landscape. Access to the tower is by means of a winding path through the woodland behind Grich Castle. Lady Emily's Tower was kept in use until the estate was broken up in 1946. Visitors to the castle from 1948 would go on walks. This was formally agreed when the woodlands were let to the Forestry Commission in 1951. The caves, tower and gamekeeper's cottage are Greer Castle Trust and free to access by the Trust and anyone the Trust should invite. Ravages of time, weather, mindless vandalism and theft has put Lady Emily's Tower in the dangerous state of disrepair and at risk of collapse. It is currently not open to the public. It was designed both as a structure to provide a beautiful view as well as banqueting tower, a fine example where beauty meeting purpose. The views the three windows of the tower show the relationship between land, sea and sky. It demonstrates how Greer Castle Estate utilised all three parts of this picturesque landscape. The views from the three windows of the tower show the relationship between land, sea and sky. By means of a winding path, the ridge of the cliff was gained and luncheons were partaken at a height of 560 feet above sea level, in and near to Lady Emily's Tower. On a positive note, the Greer Castle Trust have commissioned Ned Scherer of Natural Building Centre Hlamroost to undertake Phase 1 emergency work to Lady Emily's Tower. This will include the stabilisation of internal walls, window openings, fireplace and localised pointing. In the near future, the Greer Castle Trust would like to open the tower for visitors when it is fully restored.
Above the entrance to Lady Emily's Tower, there is an inscription. The inscription is taken from the English Standard Version of the Bible, Psalm 95, verse 5, and reads, The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land.